Hello and welcome to vlog number 83. This week I'm going to talk about freezing of gait in Parkinson's disease. So, what is freezing of gait? How does it affect you and what can be done about it? Freezing of gait is, arguably, one of the most debilitating symptoms of Parkinson's disease and is characterised by an inability to walk whereby your feet appear to be stuck to the floor while your upper body remains mobile. Forward motion is markedly reduced in spite of the intention to walk. When you freeze, you may not be able to resume movement for several seconds or minutes. Freezing of gait is usually precipitated by a disruption in the rhythm of locomotion, such as when you turn, walk in a combined or crowded space, or walk through a doorway. These events result in rapid and frequent changes in step length, and because of this, it is usually thought of as a disorder of movement but it is also associated with an increased tendency to fall, which suggests that it is also a disorder of postural stability. Basically, we don't know what the exact cause of freezing is, but we do know that it can get worse if you're anxious or stressed or if your concentration lapses. Freezing of gait is associated with the later stages of Parkinson's disease, and its prevalence has been variously reported depending on the average age of the sample group being analysed. In older patient groups with late stage PD, its incidence has been reported to be as high as 53%. Some people with Parkinson's use auditory cues to overcome freezing of gait. Walking to music or to a beat, such as a metronome, can help to sustain or resume a rhythm. Others find that visual cues can help them to avoid freezing. And I reviewed a product called Pathfinder in vlog number 39, innovative products for people with Parkinson's which projects laser lines as visual cues onto the floor in front of the user. I'm fortunate in that I don't suffer with freezing of gait at the moment, but my mum, who had advanced Parkinson's, suffered badly with it, and it was extremely debilitating. She tried a variety of tricks to overcome it, including visual and auditory cues, but initially she used to plan to move prior to trying to initiate movement, mentally rehearsing, telling herself what she was going to do before actually doing it. And that certainly worked in the early stages of her freezing of gait. In many cases, Parkinson's medications, such as levodopa, may initially help to improve freezing of gait, but later may not as PD progresses. There are a number of treatment plans to help overcome freezing of gait, including physiotherapy, which focuses on techniques to improve posture and balance to minimise the likelihood of a fall when you freeze, and may also include advice on walking aids. Occupational therapy, which can help you to find specific ways to manage freezing of gait in your own home and in other situations. The type of medication that you take and the timing of that medication can be tweaked to assist with freezing of gait. Exercises to keep your legs moving can help stop freezing. It may also improve posture and balance, which will help reduce the likelihood of falling in the event of freezing. Some patients may find that deep brain stimulation surgery helps with freezing of gait, but only a small number of people with Parkinson's, approximately 10%, are suitable for this operation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.